and it's really disturbing to read it and think about you know the two girls at the heart of this and uh, what they may have gone through. Stunning new documents describe the scene where two young girls were murdered in Delphi, Indiana, five years ago. Yeah, this is a murder that remains unsolved. Natalie Bomke live with what else was uncovered. Natalie. We now know exactly who the FBI was looking at first as a potential suspect in the 2017 murder of two young girls. An old search warrant obtained by two Indiana podcasters revealing new details in the unsolved murders of 14-year-old Liberty German and 13-year-old Abigail Williams, killed while they were hiking in Delphi, Indiana. It gives you some more illumination about how this crime took place and, and so, sort of how brutal it is. Anya Kane and Kevin Greenlee host the Murder Sheet podcast. They say the new document shows the FBI was looking at a man on probation shortly after the murders who lived very close to the crime scene, matched a description of a possible suspect, and lied to police about his whereabouts the day of the murders. The FBI agent who wrote the affidavit basically felt that there was enough there that showed a propensity for violence. But Detectives theorized he had killed the girls in his home and then moved and staged their bodies. He was never charged and recently died. There are also new details revealed in the document about the crime scene. The document said pretty clearly that due to the nature of the injuries the girls suffered, there would have had to have been a lot of blood on the killer. And that naturally raises the question of how did he get away? How did he walk the trails and get back to his vehicle or get back to wherever he was going? Two articles of the girls' clothing were also missing. The, the FBI agent who wrote it speculated that those could have become some sort of trophy for the killer. The podcasters hoping by shedding new light on the case, they can generate more leads for police. And we just really hope that uh, with the more information that comes out, uh, the more tips and actionable tips that people are able to give law enforcement, and we can get a step closer to closure. Police have identified another person of interest, a man currently in jail, awaiting trial for child pornography charges. He is connected to a social media account that police believe he used to communicate with one of the girls.